Hey everybody, it's Mike from Us, and I hope you're having a great day. I just want to make a really quick video here. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about this Yankee Candle Scent Light. Uh, if you're not really familiar with this product, well, neither am I, and uh, that's why I'm making this video. Uh, before purchasing this, uh, which isn't exactly a cheap product, uh, I was trying to find videos and uh, different kind of things of just showing exactly what the scent light is, and I really didn't come up with anything. So I decided to make this video just to kind of answer anybody's questions that might be considering buying one. Uh, for me, the biggest question was, does this flicker like a candle, or because the product description of this just says it gives off a glow. And I'm not really, I really don't know what that means. If just a light comes on or if it flickers like a candle, I'm not sure. But overall, this is uh, Yankee Candle's introduction into like this new product line of like these flameless or, yeah, flameless scented candle stuff. Uh, and if you're not familiar with the Yankee Candle scent light, you might be familiar with something like this. And that is the Febreze Flameless Luminary. And if I can reach over for just a second, you tap on its shade there, its scented shade, and it would flicker like a candle. Uh, these are great things for like households with kids or for like at night, uh, if you ever have ever forgotten to blow out a candle. It can definitely freak you out a little bit when you wake up and you see that the candle was burned all night. Uh, so this is Yankee Candle's entry into it, and like I said, I just kind of want to do an unboxing here and look into it and see what's actually inside and how it looks and just kind of answer maybe some questions that you have about it. So I'm going to take a break here and get it out of the box. Okay, everybody, I just wanted to break in again real quick here and just show you what is in the box. Uh, you have the actual scent light glass container, and that is glass, so that's nice. Uh, pack of batteries, and you get two uh, diffuser thing containers. Uh, I should mention this is the starter kit. Um, you can buy the base itself. Um, when I bought this, I, I do want to just interject here too a little bit about the price of this isn't exactly on the cheap side. I think uh, the regular price for one of these starter kits is about 28 bucks. Um, I bought this one when they had a sale at the end of March, uh, and I picked it up for, I believe, 18 bucks. So if you're thinking about getting one of these, you may want to wait for a sale. I mean, that's a savings of about 10 bucks. so... Uh, something to think about. Anyway, let's get this started. Okay, I just wanted to, again, butt in here real quick with another quick cut of, uh, I put the batteries into the base here, and I just kind of want to show you how this actually works. Here's the power button. And if you can kind of see that, there's a little fan there, so when you put these diffusers in, uh, when it's on, it's actually going to blow the scent uh, kind of out and through the room. So that's kind of nice, kind of innovative product instead of just being like a simple diffuser. Overall, the light, uh, I was really hoping that there would be kind of a flickering effect, but it does look like the description on the box was accurate. It glows. Kind of vibrates there, too. Okay, let's let's get it all put together. Okay, everybody, here we go. I got the uh, diffuser packet uh, installed. They're really easy. Uh, I, I'm actually only going to put in one because uh, this scent light is going to go in a small room. And before I use two of these, I just want to uh, see how strong one will be. So we have one installed, and to, uh, to put them in, it's really easy. You just peel off this foil on the back. And uh, you have to put it towards the uh, back here facing the fan element. But okay, we're ready to put the glass shade on. Here we go. It's tight fit, nice snug fit. And we're going to turn it on. Are you as excited as I am? Oh my gosh. That's what it looks like, everybody. 
if you've been curious about what these scent lights are, it's pretty. I like it. Okay, so I hope that answers some questions about uh, scent light and how, what it does and what it looks like and what you get. So, after spending a couple of days with scent light, I just wanted to come back on and give some of my first impressions. In this picture right now, you can see scent light compared uh, in a size comparison to one of Yankee Candle's large candles. I do plan on giving a full review later. Yankee Candle actually states that the scent light will last up to 45 days, and I want to give it probably a full 30 before I give a final review. Overall, after two days with scent light, I have to say my first impressions are kind of negative. But before I start hitting on the negatives, let me tell you a little bit about what I do like about scent light. I like scent light's glass cylinder. It's a nice thick glass, it has a really nice color to it, and inside it is mirrored so when the light is on, it provides what Yankee Candle has accurately described as a glow. The light isn't extremely bright, as a matter of fact, it's, it's probably just right. Uh, it provides enough light to be like a really good night light. However, let's talk a little bit about the negatives of scent light. While the glass cylinder is really nice, the problem is that it sets on a pretty cheap looking base. Overall, the base is just this gray, dull plastic. And compared to the nice glass cylinder that, it's, that sits on top of it, it really provides this kind of dull contrast. Yankee Candle would have really benefited themselves by giving it a finish or even some kind of etching into the plastic. Now let's move on to the main feature of Scent Light, which is, of course, the scent and its scent delivery. Overall, Scent Light is a diffuser, and I should state right now, if I haven't already, is that I have Scent Light placed in a 10 foot by 12 foot bedroom. Overall, it's been cool, so the windows are closed and the door has been partially shut. And with that in mind, Again, realizing that scent light is a diffuser, and diffusers usually take time to actually build up a scent in a room. Unfortunately, with scent light, over the course of two days, I hardly smell anything. Now, when I turn it on, you do get more of a scent, but again, in a 10 by 12 room, uh, being on the other side of the room, I can't really get a scent at all. You have to really be right on top of it to get any kind of scent. And considering Scent Light's price, I mean, this is a big negative. I'm hoping, again, this isn't the final review, so I'm hoping through the course of 30 days or so, Scent Light will improve. However, you know, for a product that costs 28 bucks uh, not on sale, it's kind of a disappointment. And with that price, it's that's what makes it a big negative. That's a lot to shell out for something that doesn't really provide as much scent as a regular diffuser or a plug-in or something a lot less. But again, it's only been two days, so I don't want to give a final verdict on this. I'm going to give it more time and see if a scent does build up. So until then, I hope this video did provide some answers to any questions you had about scent light and, uh... I hope my first impressions maybe helped you make a pricey decision or not. So check back in 30 days and hopefully I will have a solid verdict for you. Thanks for watching everybody.